which you haven't looked at your case mix yet, you might be surprised. And then, if you are still hold harmless, the state intends on doing a calculation, and we'll see that in a minute, of where the impact could be. The state, state intends on doing a calculation to impact your facility and take that hold harmless rate that you were getting at 08 in the 83 um, base year and impacting it for the equivalent of the full house um, to the Medicaid only. Diane, okay. can we go back to the, the NDS submissions there? There's two very important aspects to this. Is that one, make sure that your census is correct. Because what they're going to do is the state's going to take your census of your Medicaid patients and then find the latest NDS for that Medicaid patient. So if you want to get the right case mix, that census is the first tool that they're going to look at before they pull in the MDSs to it. Second one is make sure that the most uh, current MDS is pulled in to match your, your, your population for, for that whatever they, they select to do it. So those are two very important things for your case mix side. Is the census is right and the right MDS is brought in to match the person on, on that census report. Now what we've